Here's all you'll need to make a cheap and effective prop lightsaber. 1 inch PVC piping, 3 fourths inch wooden dowel for the blade, 1 and a half inch steel screws, silver duct tape, bright colored duct tape, and black electrical tape. Take your PVC and measure it into about 1 foot increments, then cut along the lines you've marked. I make my saber hilts about 12 inches long because it feels best in my hand, but it's completely up to you how long you make. Cover the hilts in silver duct tape to give it a metallic look. Trim off the edges and make sure no bubbles are under the tape. Then you can use the black electrical tape and accent the saber with as many stripes or crosses as you want to give it a genuine look. Next, your blade probably isn't short enough. Cut it to about 3 feet 5 inches, or if you have one of these, just measure the plastic blade from that and add on about 5 to 6 inches. This will allow for enough of the blade to fit down into the hilt and hold firmly. Then, using your colored duct tape, cover the blade in it, except for the part that goes into the hilt. You don't want to waste any of this tape. The next part is kind of tricky, and you might need an extra pair of hands. First, slide the blade into the hilt and hold it steady. Drill a hole through the hilts and the blade. Make sure the blade doesn't move, so you don't have to realign the holes you drilled later. Screw in your one and a half inch steel screws till it's completely in. It's best to use an electric screwdriver for this. Next, slide down the hilt a bit and drill the next hole. Turn the saber on its side so when you put the next screw in, it creates a cross with the other. This will hold the blade in place and keep it from wobbling during a fight. Now you're done! But be warned, this is not a toy. It is a legit movie prop and shouldn't be used otherwise. The blade is solid wood and is quite unpleasant when it hits you. Now that you have the prop, you're going to need the effects. Personally, I prefer to use the LS Maker. It's a free program you can download off the internet. However, it takes some skill to master. But you can just go to YouTube and look up an LS Maker tutorial. Any of them should be able to help. But what makes the LS Maker so great is that it's very versatile. With a little imagination and know-how, you can create a wide variety of effects.